welcome to the part 59 we are looking at real questions part 58 is for members only so click the join button or use the link in the description and become a cloud kernel member to access all of those important questions if you have not yet subscribed so many people have passed the certification using these contents there are 500 plus videos close to 3000 questions on aws azure gcp snowflake and tableau certifications so let us look at the questions okay, we want to view end-to-end uh, -end performance metrics and you want to troubleshoot distributed applications so option a it is a cloud id for writing running and debugging code id means integrated development environment and it supports javascript python php it is not for troubleshooting so a is wrong b codestar helps you quickly develop build deploy applications it will not help with troubleshooting c it helps with service discovery you can define custom names of your application and it will maintain the updated location it will not help you with troubleshooting x-ray will help you with debugging production and distributed application this is my answer it meets these requirements let us look at the next question see your company they want best practice recommendations around cost performance fault tolerance etc so this is the service which is meant to help you it is just like a consultant who helps you file some taxes and etc it will tell you here trusted advisor will improve help you improve performance security posture and so on so this would be my answer option b waf helps you with common exploits so it is wrong option a shield is all about ddos protection the question does not ask anything about ddos protection so shield is wrong option d infrastructure as a code template this helps you share organize and govern it it will not help you with providing recommendations and that's why d is wrong so this would be my final answer the next question a company they plan to move to aws from on premises they have a website okay you want to know which service will help you host the domain name for the website there is only one service that is option b this will help you with the cost effective way to route end users to internet applications lambda is a cheap guy he can do anything for very small money it is serverless small data massaging activating some other code these are the use cases it is not used for hosting domain names cloudfront option c it is a low latency high transfer speed network so instead of going through the internet the internet can make your load slower depending upon the speed so aws has their own network okay cloudfront uses that internal network and since only aws people use it so or aws customers use it so it is very fast compared to internet so netflix for example use such features and services it will not help you with domain name and direct connect you know it is just a network you lay a special private network between your on-prem this is your on-prem and this is your aws cloud you create this network dedicated line only for your purpose so this brings us to the end of this question so this is my final answer so this is a support question we need technical support during business hours and they want architectural guidance also so lowest cost what where we can find the lowest cost here is developer support where we can get these features like technical support during business hours not 24 by 7 only during business hours as well as architectural guidance 
please subscribe if you have not done it so many people have passed the certifications make use of this opportunity part 58 have been loaded in uh, the cloud kernel group please click the join button below this video or use the link in the description and opt for cloud kernel membership for a very small premium you gain access to important questions you need both free content and paid content uh, to be fully prepared to pass the certification exam so this brings us to the end of part 59 see you in the next part